Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Today our topic is differential diagnosis of chest pain. Chest pain is a very common symptom in patients presenting to the hospital and the differential diagnosis is very wide and detailed history and physical examination is very important for further investigations and treatment of patients. Contents of this presentation are differential diagnosis of central and peripheral chest pain, presentation of chest pain, different sites and radiation of chest pain in different diseases, um, onset of chest pain and different associated features with different uh, kinds of chest pain associated with different uh, causes of chest pain. So the chest pain is a subjective phenomena. It is explained differently by different patients. Some patients may describe it as pain. Some patients describe it as a discomfort or others may describe it as a feeling of pressure in the chest. Differential diagnosis of chest pain can be uh, chest pain can be mm, central or uh, present in the center of the chest, or it can be peripheral chest pain, and both of them have different differentials. Causes of central chest pain are uh, uh, keeping in mind the anatomical contents of mediastinum. You can easily remember these differential diagnoses of central chest pain. So central chest pain can arise due to some cardiac problem, or um, uh, it can be caused by uh, aortic problems or esophageal disease, pulmonary embolism, and any mediastinal malignancy. Anxiety can cause both uh, central and peripheral um, chest pain. Sometimes it causes a central chest pain and sometimes can present with peripheral chest pain. So the causes of uh, uh, peripheral chest pain includes any lung disease or pleural disease, any musculoskeletal cause or neurological cause. The cardiac causes for central chest pain uh, can be due to myocardial ischemia or it can be due to myocardial infarction, myocarditis which is inflammation of the myocardium or pericarditis uh, which is inflammation of the pericardium and mitral valve prolapse syndrome. So the mitral valve prolapse can cause a central chest pain but sometimes it can cause a sharp and left-sided chest pain that can be confused with musculoskeletal pain. Uh, aortic causes for central chest pain includes uh, aortic dissection uh, and aortic aneurysm. So uh, aortic dissection, there is blood in the wall of the artery. Here you can see it. And aneurysm is uh, dilatation of the aortic wall, abnormal dilatation. Esophageal causes of central chest pain uh, can be it can be due to esophagitis, for example, secondary to gastroesophageal reflux disease uh, or esophageal spasm, Mallory V syndrome, esophageal perforation, or which is also called as Borhaus syndrome. Borhaus syndrome is a spontaneous esophageal rupture. It can occur due to severe vomiting or weight lifting. It can occur due to childbirth or caustic ingestion or seizures and medical instrumentation. So there are different causes for esophageal perforation, which can also cause, which can also cause a central chest pain. Lung or, or uh, pleural diseases, which will cause a peripheral chest pain. So it can be due to pulmonary infarction, pneumonia, pneumothorax, tuberculosis, malignancy, any pleural malignancy or pulmonary malignancy or connective tissue disorders uh, which involves the lungs, for example, systemic lupus erythematosus, etc. Peripheral chest pain, which is due to musculoskeletal problems, includes uh, osteoarthritis of, uh, of the costochondral joints and uh, costovertebral joints or uh, a rib fracture or injury. Acute vertebral fracture can cause uh, uh, peripheral chest pain or costochondritis, which is also called as Tietzis syndrome, intercostal muscle injury, epidemic myalgia or von Holmes disease. Um, epidemic myalgia is associated with viral gastroenteritis. Neurological causes for peripheral chest pain can be, it, is, uh, it can be caused by prolapsed intervertebral discs or thoracic outlet syndrome. In thoracic outlet syndrome, uh, the, there is compression of the uh, arteries and veins uh, arteries, veins, and nerves coming out of the thoracic cavity into the uh, into the neck, and uh, herpes zoster can also cause uh, peripheral chest pain, and it is associated with the uh, and this is associated with this uh, dermatomal rash um, and uh, chest pain. 
Now coming towards the site and radiation of chest pain. So the pain of myocardial ischemia is typically felt in the center of the chest and it radiates to the neck and to the jaw and upper arm or to the lower arm. And sometimes it can also happen that the pain is not experienced at the center of the chest but it is only experienced at the site of radiation or in the back which occurs very rarely. The pain of myocarditis and pericarditis is characteristically felt retrosternally that is just behind the sternum uh, to the left of the sternum or in the right shoulder or left shoulder because of, um, because of irritation of the phrenic nerves. The very severe pain of aortic dissection is typically central and it radiates through to the back. Pain which is felt at left anterior chest wall at left anterior chest wall and radiating laterally it is very unlikely due to cardiac ischemia it can be due to pleural disease or uh, any lung disorder or musculoskeletal musculoskeletal problems or anxiety and rarely it can also occur due to mitral valve prolapse characteristics of chest pain uh, so what is pleurisy and uh, or uh, pleuritic chest pain? It is a sharp or uh, it is a sharp chest pain which is aggravated by deep breathing or coughing. It can occur due to respiratory pathology and also due to myocarditis or pericarditis. So it can indicate a respiratory pathology, a pulmonary infection or infarction, or it can also occur due to myocarditis or pericarditis, which uh, typically varies in intensity with movement and phase of respiration. Myocardial ischemia. The pain associated with myocardial ischemia is dull. It's not a sharp pain like that in uh, pericarditis or myocarditis. So it is a dull, constricting, choking and heavy pain which is described as squeezing, crushing or burning or aching pain. And some patients uh, um, often emphasize that it is a discomfort rather than a pain. Angina, the pain associated with angina occurs during exertion or exercise and not it does not occur after exercise and it is promptly relieved by rest within 5 minutes. If pain occurs after exertion, it may be due to psychological or musculoskeletal problem uh, but, it is, uh, but the pain of, uh, associated with angina occurs during exertion. So it is precipitated during exertion after a large meal or in cold wind. And it also may be precipitated or exacerbated by emotion. Asthma also described as uh, the chest pain of asthma is also described as chest tightness with exertion, which is relieved by rest, making it difficult to distinguish from myocardial ischemia. But asthma will be associated with wheeze due to bronchospasm, atopy, and cough. Malignant tumors invading the chest wall cause gnawing, continuous, and local pain. Musculoskeletal chest pain is variable in sight and intensity. It is associated with a specific movement like bending, stretching, and turning. It is caused by minor soft tissue injuries which occur in daily life like driving, manual work, or sports, etc. Onset of chest pain. So... A sudden onset chest pain uh, can occur because of aortic dissection or massive pulmonary embolism and uh, pneumothorax, while gradual onset occurs, for example, in myocardial infarction, typically it takes several minutes or even longer to develop to its maximum intensity. And similarly in angina, it builds up gradually in proportion to intensity of exertion. So the pain increases proportionately with increase in exertion. Associated features. So the pain of myocardial infarction and uh, massive pulmonary embolism and aortic dis dissection is associated with autonomic disturbance like sweating, nausea and vomiting. And all of the above mentioned are also associated with anger and MI. 
which means feeling of impending death. The patient feels like uh, he or she is going to die, which can actually happen if the patient is not promptly diagnosed and treated in time. Uh, breathlessness, it's a associated feature with chest pain and breathlessness can occur in myocardial infarction as well as it can also be associated with chest pain due to respiratory cause. So breathlessness is often a prominent feature of myocardial ischemia due to pulmonary congestion uh, which is due to transient left ventricular dysfunction. Uh, what happens in left ventricular dysfunction is in left ventricular dysfunction, the left ventricle is not able to pump blood into aorta and that's why back pressure in pulmonary capillary is, is increased, which causes pulmonary congestion. And breathlessness may also accompany respiratory cause of chest pain, but it will be associated with uh, other respiratory symptoms like coughing or wheezing, etc. Gerd and peptic ulcer can also present with chest pain and it is sometimes hard to distinguish it from ischemic pain because it is also precipitated by exertion or exercise and relieved uh, with nitrates like myocardial ischemia. But this pain often radiates to the interscapular region and it is uh, related to supine posture and associated with eating and drinking and also dysphagia may be present. It's facial perforation, it causes a severe chest pain which arises after retching or vomiting or esophageal instrumentation. Anxiety induced chest pain may be associated with breathlessness but it will be without hypoxemia uh, and it is also associated with throat tightness or perioral tingling and some evidence, there will be some evidence of emotional distress. Perioral tingling can also occur with the hypoglycemia, but that will be associated with other features of hypoglycemia. Psychological and organic features often coexist. Because chest pain uh, itself is a very um, frightening experience and uh, anxiety may amplify the effects of organic disease. Uh, that's why a confusing clinical picture may result.